looking to make some healthier habits this holiday season, make sure to check out our Moving Through Midlife community over on Facebook as we are doing a Planksgiving event where we are doing daily plank workouts. We will be doing an advent for healthy, happy hips this holiday season, and then also have a sugar challenge, a two-week sugar challenge that you might be interested in. Happy holidays! It is always my goal to help you and your family move more. So every Thursday, I am dropping a movement snack into your ears to help you and your family move more. Today is another movement snack for you. And remember, this month we are stacking our September. So this movement can be done in a couple of different places. If we're thinking about our daily life, if you are making dinner this evening and want to practice this, this is a great exercise that you can practice at your stove. Or you can do this in the morning when you wake up in the evening before you go to bed, or anytime you're down on hands and knees, like with your workout at the end of a workout, you can kind of do this stretch. So what we're going to do is we're gonna work on stretching all the way from our hip up through our shoulder. And we, if we think about standing at the stove, you are going to place one hand so think of your hands being on the outside of the stove preferably not on right now um, hopefully the things are in the oven rather than on the stove top or you might burn your hand so what we are going to do is you are going to place one hand over top of the other hand so out in front of is actually what i mean so the palm of your hand is touching your fingertips hopefully that makes sense and we are going to lean back away from it at an angle so we're not going straight back but we're leaning back at an angle so our hip is going in the opposite direction as our hands so think about like that x or a dash an angle we're pushing back and you should feel that all the way from the hip all the way up through maybe the underarm and even maybe depending on the tension and tightness in your body down through the fingertips this is a great stretch and usually one that people feel a lot of relief in their low back after practicing it you can make sure to do the other side same thing the other way that i recommend doing this is when you're in cat cow position so think of hands on the floor knees on the floor and again you're going to do the same thing you're going to place one hand in front of the other hand and then push your hips back trying to draw your hips all the way back to the heels in that opposite angle and you'll feel that nice stretch and release in the low back so if you are dealing with a lot of low back tightness if you're dealing with um tension from sitting down for long periods of time this is a great stretch to help release that low back as i joint pain as well this is going to help with that you're really pushing your hips back in a way as you do this movement so this is a quick one today it's one that you can practice, like I said, throughout the day. Anytime you're near a countertop, you can do this while you're brushing your teeth or after you've brushed your teeth, um, dishes, laundry, anytime that you have an area that you can hold on to to create that movement pattern. Um, and that is it. Hopefully, this is one that you feel some relief from. Always, if you have questions for me, reach out to me. If there's something that you have this nagging pain in any area, reach out to me. My email is Courtney at formfitnaples.com. You can reach out, ask me a question. What would you do for this? And I can provide you with some ideas on here. And um, that's it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Make sure to keep moving and enjoy. 
Thank you so much for joining us today. If you could do me a favor, if you like what you hear, could you leave us a review or take a screenshot and share your favorite takeaway on social media? And make sure to tag us over at raising underscore healthy humans. Now go out and enjoy more movement throughout your day.